In this video, we're going to take a look at converting rates from one set of units to another. The first thing that we need to do is start by setting up the rate that we're given as a ratio or as a fraction. So I'm going to start with this. It's 50 miles per hour, and we want to convert that to feet per second. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing this as a ratio. And remember, a ratio is really just a fraction. It's 50 miles and per suggests division so that's where we get that fraction piece coming in there per hour so 50 miles in one hour okay so we're gonna start there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna creatively multiply by one in order to make that conversion into feet per second now you say well huh, multiply by one what do you mean well here's the thing miles into feet do we know how many feet make up a mile? Well, yeah, we do. It's 5,280 feet make up one mile. So here's what we want to do, okay? That's really just one. And I'm going to set it up so that the labels are going to cancel out. And remember to cancel out when we've got a situation like this. We want one on the top, one on the bottom. Those will cancel out. So I'm going to put one mile on the bottom here and that's equal to 5,280 feet. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. These are the same thing, just in different units. Then we've got a mile on the top and a mile on the bottom, that label, so that's gonna cancel out. And if I look at the label now, I have feet per hour. Ah, so notice what's happening to our labels. I want feet per second though, so I've got the feet, so I'm part way there. Okay, so now I need to take that hour and make it into seconds. Well, what do we know? Do we know how many seconds are in an hour? Maybe you do, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to go ahead and work with things that I know. And the hour notice is on the bottom, so I'm going to put it on top, so one hour, and that's equal to 60 minutes. 60 minutes okay so again this is really just one and the hour being on top it's gonna cancel with that hour on the bottom that label so that's gone now what do we have feet per minute almost there we've got feet per minute now I need to figure out how minutes and seconds compare well in one minute we have 60 seconds so where should I put that minute on top because I've got it on the bottom and I want it to cancel so one minute and that's equal to 60 seconds okay now the minutes cancel because there's one on the top one on the bottom and if I look at my labels I have feet per second perfect just what I was looking for so now I just go ahead and multiply across on the top and the bottom so 50 times 5280 that's going to give us, let's see, grab your calculator, we get 264,000 on top there. And then on the bottom, oops, I got one extra zero. Let me get that out of there. Okay, one extra zero. And then on the bottom, 60 times 60 is 3,600, 3,600. Okay, then do that division. And what I get is 73.3333 or 73 repeating, which is the same as 73 and one third. Okay, we could write it like that, depending on what the uh, what you're looking for and what you're working with. You may want the fraction, you may want a round, and the label here that we ended up with is feet per second. Feet per second. Okay, just what we we're looking for. Okay, let's try another one. This next one we have 450 per pound, and we want to convert that to dollars per ounce. First step, I'm going to set this up as a ratio. So it's four dollars and fifty cents. Four dollars and fifty cents per pound. So that means for one pound. Okay, and I want to convert that to dollars per ounce. Well, I've already got dollars, so I'm good to go there, but I need to convert that pounds to ounces. Well, how many ounces are in a pound? 
16. So I need to decide how to set that up. I want the pounds to cancel, so I'm going to put that on top. So one pound, and on the bottom I've got 16 ounces. Okay, so notice what happens. The pounds cancel out, and now my label is going to be dollars per ounce. Perfect, just what I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply across. Here we just have 1 times 450, so it's going to be 4.5 over, or 450, over 16. And I do that division, and I'm going to get 0.28. One two five. Okay, you can grab your calculator and do that. Now, that is dollars. Point two eight dollars. So that would be twenty eight cents. And I'm gonna round it to the nearest cent because when we're working with money, that seems to make a lot of sense. <laughs> so, point two eight, and we look. Okay, following the eight there, that's a one. So we're just gonna drop that stuff off. So it's 28 cents per ounce. Okay? All right, let's take a look at this next one. In this one, we've got 16 meters per second. I want to convert that to centimeters per minute. Okay? First step, just like we've done, set up that original ratio that we're given. <coughs> so what I have is 16 meters and that's per one second so over one second alright then I want to convert that to centimeters per minute so I'm gonna start with the meters and make them into centimeters so let's see meters and centimeters well one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters okay so you gotta remember all your conversions here so one meter and I'm gonna put that on the bottom because I've already got a meter on the top so then those will cancel out one meter is equal to 100 centimeters okay the meters cancel if I stopped right now my label would be centimeters per second almost there now I gotta take those seconds and make them into minutes okay well I want the seconds to cancel and seconds and minutes let's see seem like we did one like that before oh yeah one minute is 60 seconds okay so the seconds are on the bottom I'm going to put them on the top so they're going to cancel out. 60 seconds, and that's equal to one minute. Okay. Remember, these are just creatively writing one just for those conversion factors. Okay. The seconds cancel out, and now if I stop, my label is going to be centimeters per minute. Huh. Just what I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply straight across there. 16 times 100. It's going to be 1,600 times 60 is going to give us 96,000. On the bottom, I just have 1 times 1 times 1, so that's just going to be 1. 96,000 divided by 1 is just 96,000. And my label is centimeters per minute, just what I was looking for. Centimeters per minute. Okay, let's try one last problem here. In this one, we have 40 kilometers per hour, and we want to convert that to meters per second. Okay? So, again, set up that initial ratio. So, 40 kilometers per hour means over one hour. Okay? And I want that to meters per second. So, kilometers and meters, how do those compare? Well, one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Okay, kilometers on top, so I want to put it on the bottom so it'll cancel. So one kilometer on the bottom, that's equal to 1,000 meters. So that's going to go on top right here. Okay, then go ahead, cancel those kilometers out. Now if I stopped, I would have meters per hour. Not exactly what I want, but I'm getting there. Okay, now I need to change the hours into seconds. Okay, we did something like this earlier on. Remember that we want one hour is equal to how many minutes, because minutes is getting us toward those seconds, which is what we want, is equal to 60 minutes. Okay, the hours then cancel, and now we have meters per minute. Then finally, I'm going to take the minutes, put those on top, 
because I want those to cancel and one minute is equal to 60 seconds okay the minutes cancel and now my label is meters per second just what I'm looking for okay so then I go ahead and multiply straight across top and bottom so 40 times 1000 is going to be 40,000 and on the bottom I have 60 1 times 1 times 60 times 60 well the 60 times 60 is the only thing we're really interested in which is going to be 3600 then I do that division and I end up with 11.11111 okay and remember that single digit repeating like that as a fraction is equal to uh, we have the denominator of nine so it's one ninth okay or depending on where you're asked to round or whatever you can do the appropriate rounding if you don't want to write it as a fraction the label would be meters per second just what we were looking for meters per second okay so converting rates if we want to do that the first thing we want to do is set up a ratio with our original rate then we're gonna take one and creatively write it so that the label that we don't want is gonna cancel that gets us a new label we work our way to the labels that we're interested in until finally when we've got the labels we want and the others have canceled we just multiply straight across top and bottom do the division and we've got our answer hope this video is helpful keep working hard on your math I know you can do it